to. Israel looks set to join an elite club on Thursday. The Jewish state's first spacecraft built to land on the moon blasted off from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. It's an unmanned mission powered by a Falcon 9 rocket launched by Elon Musk's SpaceX. If this succeeds, Israel will become just the fourth country to land a controlled touchdown after the U.S., the former Soviet Union, and China. But unlike the others, this is not a big government venture. The 1300 pound spacecraft was built by Space IL, an Israeli nonprofit, with help from a state owned defense contractor. And most of the $100 million budget came from private donors. All told, it will take two months, and the spacecraft will have to travel through 4 million miles of space, compared to a direct path of only 240,000 miles. The Israeli engineers have named their spacecraft Bereshit, Hebrew for the biblical phrase, in the beginning. It's designed to spend just a few days to photograph its landing site and measure the moon's magnetic field. There are no immediate plans to bring it home. Maybe in a couple of uh, tens of years, maybe someone will send us a spacecraft to bring it back. Space IL officials say they hope Bereshit inspires Israel's defense-focused space program to start turning more towards science.